Hello, I'm Jim Manny. I'm an editor at Loyola Press, and I'm part of the team that worked on the Ignatian Prayer Adventure online retreat. I think Ignatius ran out of words when he was describing the kind of commitment that he strived to make to Christ. Wholehearted commitment? Yes, uh, but there's more. A total commitment? Closer, but not quite enough. He finally settled on the Latin word magus, meaning the greater, the excellent, the best. People who strive for the magus want always to do better. They look for amb ambitious goals. People who reach for magus are taking risks. They don't want to be comfortable. Magus comes from the call of the king meditation in the spiritual exercises. Uh, in this meditation, we're asked to think about what our response might be to Christ's invitation to join him in his mission, his mission of saving and healing the world. Uh, most people making the retreat would probably feel fine about signing up for that. But Ignatius says that there's an even deeper response that's possible. We can go even further. There's a response beyond wholehearted. We could reach for the magus. When I made the spiritual exercises, uh, I found this notion of better than great to be quite intimidating. I still do. Uh, it doesn't seem possible. And it really isn't possible. God has to do it. We can't. Reaching for the magus might sound like uh, restless, overachieving, type A type behavior. But it's really something like the opposite. Uh, it's an exercise in humility. If we can imagine a degree of commitment that's beyond our ability to make, then we're less likely to make the mistake of thinking that we've got this Christian thing figured out. We're always falling short, and we always need God to take us where we want to go.